BEMA was founded in 2001 to serve churches and church-related nonprofits. It's core to our mission to serve that market. Uh, we do serve pretty much all small business as well. We sought for years looking for a telephony solution that could serve our market. The Digium Switchbox solution was the first one that met the requirements and uh, we found success with it right away. The fact that we're not having to um, you know, charge for all the features gives us that flexibility to decide what the client needs and implement it the best way to meet the requirements. Uh, we don't get hung up in the sales process on uh, you know, whether we need to license additional features or uh, some of the competition that we've, that we've gone up against frequently where uh, the quotes are not adequately going to meet the client requirements. We don't run into that. So. The new Digium appliances have, uh, particularly with the, the, the smaller models, have made us more able to um, bring the system size down and compete in the smaller markets. As far as the, the larger uh, appliances, I mean, quite frankly, it's what we've been waiting for. Seeing the, uh, the, the new appliances with remote access capability, SSDs across the board, redundant power supply options on the high end, uh, we're excited about that. The Digium phones are, are a big part of that for us. Uh, generally, the, uh, the cost for the phones, the features of the phone, the integration into the system um, is, is a huge hit. Behind that, I would say you know, mobile apps, the ability to have presence anywhere is, is a huge part of that for us. We've definitely worked with our channel team quite a bit through the sales process, particularly on larger opportunities. Uh, they're they're uh, our lifeline in some cases. When we need things, uh, when we're looking for improvements of the product, our investment of time um, is rewarded. Um, so it, it truly is a partnership. Uh, that's what we look for uh, with the companies that we partner with. And you know, we're looking to be able to provide uh, feedback, things we like, things we don't like, and actually see those turn into features or changes. I think early on our biggest hesitation was that we weren't doing a lot of resale at that time at all. We did a lot of uh, conversations with Digium at the time, um, understanding who they were as a company. and. Um, you know, we really weren't interested in looking at the, the Avayas and Nortels and, and Shortels and such of the world and, uh, you know, where are they? So <laughs> I think we made the right choice. For us, it, it, uh, it really comes down to uh, a true partnership in that, you know, when, when we see needs uh, with features, when we have, you know, potential issue with a bug or a unexpected behavior, we can reach out and we know that those are going to be corrected. We know that new features that we need, um, they're going to end up getting done. Um, if I was uh, selling, you know, Cisco and I have a, a, a feature request, there's probably not much chance that, uh, you know, a small partner is going to have an impact on that feature list. Uh, we definitely have that impact at, at Digium and our customers see that and, and it definitely is a big part of why we sell it.